If you consider your garden to be a work of art, then we have a project you will love. That's right. Our Sandra Mitchell is in the garden to show us how to use painting supplies to show off your favorite plants. We are back in the garden today with our friend Nick Federoff from Things Green, and Nick's been in the paint cabinet again. I <laughs> have been. You know, and it really got me to thinking. If you want to uh, uh, really exemplify the to your whole neighborhood that you're doing some kind of painting, or mm -hmm. you want to maybe hide a hole in the wall or put something in a patio for an interest area. I thought this was kind of a fun idea where you take and we're going to create and marry gardening with painting. Mm -hmm. And this is how we'll do it. First and foremost, okay. we need a tarp. Okay. And we need an ugly tarp. A well used tarp. A well used one. Let's see, let's fold this thing. It's obvious. Oh, look at these big circles right here. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's fold this thing like this. And can you grab this in, please? Sure. Okay, let's do it this way. So we're going to fold this tarp and look at that interest you got there. Oh, I love that. Somebody was really sloppy. Bright colors. So I'm going to cover go. this like this. And we're just going to throw this on the ground. Okay. Just like this. And we don't have to make it pretty. Take and crumple it a little bit. That's what's really fun about this. How's now you need either a, a, a ladder or a step stool or something like this. So here is our step stool. But we're not finished yet because this doesn't mean anything, does it? Mm -hmm. Well, what brings this together are these paint cans. So if we could take them and put one right on, one right on top right here. Right here. Uh-huh. Okay. And then let's put one off-centered on the bottom. And these are new paint cans. These are new paint cans. And the only reason why we got these is because I want to kind of show you. Now, these were like six bucks a piece. Okay. If you wanted to go this. And let's put this one right here right on the here. ground. Right here. Yeah, do something That's like that. this. Okay, now we have the museum effect happening. We have three things mm -hmm. like this. It's nice to the eyeballs and oh, it's just a really good thing. So what we want to do is if you were to take a paintbrush and you see how these, these drippings are right here? Yeah. Yeah, adds a lot of character. If you have paint, open it up. In fact, there's a paintbrush down there. And I just want to, we'll, we'll talk about the concept. You have to do it yourself. So you can take a paintbrush, you dip it inside, mm -hmm. and then what you'll do is just on the outside right here, brush it like this, and it'll drip. Oh. And we want it to drip, and we want the drips to be seen. That's the beauty of a part of this, okay? So once it's all dripped out like that, and it's dry, then what you're going to have to do is plant. Now, you can take you can take containers mm -hmm. and you could take and and uh, uh, if they're small enough they could just slip right inside you don't have so to worry pretty. about that yeah but in this particular instance we're just going to do this let's get this oh, can right here okay okay we're going to put this just right in here like that you perfect can do that. Fit. it's a perfect fit so once we get all this going over here we would do this with all of these plants and how about uh, this one? put this right here that's a great fit. Now, you see how this is all starting to tie together? Ah, it's gorgeous. Now, this, of course, because these are full sun plants, would have to be in full sun. All right. We're going to go like that. By the way, all these plants are from Blue Hills Nursery. Are we finished? Uh, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I is knew correct. You, Nick. You've got all kinds of Sneedo stuff right, right behind you over there. Okay. Add this to this. This adds character to what we're doing. So we'll take and we'll put a paintbrush over here, maybe. Uh, Little aid on the yeah, there you go. See, and it all starts laying down. You've got whoops, look at I knocked your stuff down. So, if you're going to put this indoors, make sure that you do it. Make sure that uh, you have low light plants that you're doing. If you're going to put it in a patio, half shade, half plants. If you're going to be in full sun, you could put this. Uh, say you're going to have a painting party. People do that. <laughs> Build one of these things and put it right in the front of the house as people come through. Can oh, you imagine how cool that is? So pretty. And then it just makes a whole lot of sense because you've got the, you've actually got the whole. Looks uh, really great. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> neat. Well, the bottom line in something like this is that you can do this. It's pretty inexpensive to mm -hmm. do it. Um, if your paint can, cans are 100% dry, then you can, then you can take and use the paint cans. Otherwise, just get new ones. And if anybody wants more information, come visit me online online at thingsgreen.com or through Facebook. I have a Nick Federoff and Things Green page as well. So oh, there you go. super easy too. Yeah. Oh, super easy. All this stuff that I've been throwing away all these years. Right? Yeah. You can just keep it and 